Hi, I'm Chris Vanberg from the Wyoming State Library. I'm crazy about all the wonderful resources we have available to us for free in the state of Wyoming. Let's peer into the corners of GoWild.net and check out some really cool stuff. We all know there are journal article databases in GoWild.net and really good ones, but you may not have discovered these. This will be a quick show and tell with lots of variety. Starting out here at GoWild.net, we're going to begin in ProQuest Central. This is a huge platform with 100 plus databases. At the top, you can explore some of those by clicking on Databases and scrolling through the list. Back out on the main screen, you'll notice that they've broken those databases down into a variety of subject areas. For example, we could click on Newspapers, and you'll see a great variety, Gannett Midwest, Gannett Northeast, International, Historical Newspapers, lots and lots of historical newspapers, and the Wall Street Journal here at the bottom. So I'm going to go into one of these, and that's the arts. Once you're in the arts, notice that I can search all of the arts databases here at the top, or I can scroll down and notice next to each one of these there's a search link. So I can search individual databases under the category of arts. Just take a look at some of these arts and humanities, British periodicals, entertainment industry magazine, some international magazines, performing arts, philosophers index, religion database, screen studies, women's magazine archives, women's wear daily archive, and the one I want to show you today, the Vogue archive. And this begins with the first issue in 1892. This has works that you can discover of fashion designers, the famous photographers, you can look at fashion, culture, and society. So I'm going to just click on search. Notice that your subject coverage also includes textiles, popular culture, gender studies, photography, and marketing, because you can also take a look at the advertisements. So let's do a quick search and just let you take a peek at this. Catherine Deneuve was a big um, feature in a lot of these magazines. I'm just going to select one of these. Notice that I can go into the advertisements or into the articles. Once you've gone into one of the articles, you can go through the pages and note this is from 1971. You can also look at the details of the article, which is a really great part of exploring the history because it's going to give you the caption information, who's pictured, the designer, and what's really great too is you'll also see who the photographer was. So Richard Avedon was quite popular as a photographer in this magazine. So now I've clicked on Richard Avedon and I can go look at his covers or pictures in different features that he's done. You can notice the dates here with your caption or notice on the left hand side I can narrow by date. And here's his photograph of Diana Ross and another article. So this is in ProQuest um, under the arts. I hope you'll check it out. It's I think a great hidden feature that we have, the Vogue Archive. Another one I want to point out here as long as we're looking at some of our article databases, and that's another one under History. I want to scroll down here past the historical newspapers again to the trench journals and unit magazines of the First World War. These are a collection of magazines by and for the servicemen and women of all nations during the First World War. You 
You'll see under the subject coverage, there's a lot to be found here. But let's just take, again, a little quick peek since this is a quick show and tell. And I'm going to look up the Winnipeg Battalion. Notice that we have our years over here on the left, and you can go into a specific document type. So you can find articles or photographs, things like that. Or you can go into one of the um, articles. And I'm going to select this one because I'm interested in where this article on sports at the Winnipeg Battalion comes from. And notice here at the top, it says it's from the Trench Echo, printed every little while by the City of, City of Winnipeg Battalion. I can click now on that publication and go look at those specifically. I'm going to select 1915. And now we can look at not only the advertisements, editorials, but some of the articles out of the Trench Echo. So here's an article out scouting and the story of what goes on and what they're feeling and, and seeing. And then some personals here. So great thing if you're looking for some genealogy research as well. Students and adults all seem to love videos. Yay, YouTube. Within GoWild.net, you will find beautiful, scientific, informative, and fun videos. So let's look at audio, video, and movies. Back here at GoWild.net, I'm going to start in Britannica. Britannica, we have several. I'm going to go into Public Library. This specific link we're going to look at for media, you'll find in Children, Young Adult, and the Reference Center. I'm going to select Reference Center. Of course, you'll find your encyclopedia search box, some value-added content, biographies comparing countries, but we want to focus on media browse. Once you've selected media browse, you'll notice that you have your subjects. This is great if you're trying to find things for STEAM, as you can see with arts and literature, technology, science, and math. I'm going to select plants. Notice that it populates now on the right-hand side with images and video. On the left-hand side, it's now given me subtopics. I'm going to select cereal. And again, now it's repopulated on the right-hand side. You'll notice that I have photographs as well as diagrams that can be used for programming or for student reports. If you wanted a specific, specifically to get a video, notice you, you can change up here at the top, all images and video. I'm going to select video. And I'm going to select this time-lapse video. So you can see that would be a great piece uh, for your science programming, uh, for some science experiments, working with seeds, or just a quiet meditative moment. Back at the media, I uh, just want to show one other one. Under technology, for example, all of these subcategories 
on energy conversion, computers, engineering, And this time when we cut to just the videos, we'll see a different kind of video, a more scientific lecture. So we're finally going to cut the cord. Say goodbye to that mess of cables pouring from your desk or that one annoying wire coming from your speakers. Power is going wireless. The concept has been around. Great combination to add uh, in your video collection. Next up, we're going to take a look at Medline Plus for videos. Medline Plus is a great database for health and drug information. But in addition to uh, all those health topics and drugs and supplement information, they have a set of videos. One set is surgical videos. These are the actual operations performed at medical centers in the United States. So if you are braver than I, you can take a look at some of these. They have the date the surgery was performed, where that surgery was performed. So. If you're getting ready to have something or you're, and want to know really the details about it, here's your place to look. The other videos that they have are health videos, and these can be great for programming and report writing. Anatomy and organs and discussions of, of conditions and diseases. So let's just take a quick peek at a short one here. As light enters the eye, it strikes receptor cells on the retina called rods and cones. So just a quick little video on a specific topic. You know, back to them, health videos. They also have things like uh, some surgical things like heart bypass surgery. So what is happening with heart bypass surgery? And I don't need them to split that open. Let's peer into another corner for some very different videos. I'm going to select History, and we're going to take a look at History Maker. This is archived film of oral histories of contemporary African Americans. There's an information center here to find out more about this. There's a search box, so you can search keywords, the interviewee, the interviewer, a subject, dates, location, things like that, or you can go to view contents. Here you can browse by the name, occupation, subject, or a theme. So for example, browse by occupation, there's activists, actors, athletes, attorneys, choreographer, cowboys, diplomat, economists, educators, all of these oral histories. I'm going to select by theme, and notice a whole nother um, way to select these. So I could go into Creative Arts, Black Pride, so let's select Black Pride and Angela Davis. So here's information about uh, who was interviewed, and then you have all the different parts, and notice there's a full transcript. You can print, email, and download this citation information. So the beginning part is always the same. The oral history interviewer is getting basic information, name, date, date of birth. And then they ask him some favorite things just to get them comfortable. So if you're working with kids or adults creating oral histories, this is another great place to come. And I'd like you to start off with stating your name mm -hmm. and spelling it for us, including your mother. My name is Angela Yvonne Davis. And you'll see as she's going through that, if we scroll down, it gives the various topics that she's going to talk about and where that starts on the video and where that starts in the transcript. Then you can scroll down and listen to more of this video. So for example, we can jump down to this part 7 of 9, and you'll see that this is where she starts talking about the Black Panther Party, the Black Panther movement, 
uh, as she moves through history here. So what a fascinating part to add to your history, to your programming, or developing your oral history. They give expression to their grief and to their rage and to their desire for resistance. Several others in our GoWild.net suite have video. BookFlix, a wonderful resource of pre-K-2 that pairs fiction video storybooks with nonfiction books. eLibrary has videos. Explora now includes AP videos. So now let's peer into some familiar sources for some cool audio treasures. One of them is here under Wyoming or under history, and that's Wyoming newspapers. We know it to be a resource for old newspapers published in Wyoming that you can browse by city, county, year, or all the titles. You can do searches on your ancestry, look for advertisements, what was going on in Wyoming and what was going on in the world. These are great for doing genealogy, of course, and historical research. But there's another little gem here, and that's up at the top, the tab Statehood Exhibit. This was created here at the State Library by taking all the paper reports of the day on Statehood Day and creating this recreation of the official statehood celebration. The people that were involved, the speeches and poems that were given, all pulled together here in one great audio creation. The parade BU formed at 2 o'clock, moved on the route arranged by the Marshal of the Day, marching through the principal streets of the city and ending at the Capitol building. When it reached that point, a crowd of manly proportions had already assembled. So there's narration extends free and equal suffrage to its citizens, regardless of sex. Wyoming in her progress has not forgotten the hands and hearts that have helped advance her to her high position, and in the adoption of her... I am here to congratulate you upon By the men and the women that spoke and read poems. ...in which you have discharged your duties as a constitutional convention. And the music. I hope you'll take some time to listen to this incredible statehood exhibit, share it with your fourth grade history kids, include it in your history presentations and programming. Next up, we're going to look at Lion. Literature online. This is where you come to look for literary criticism, information about authors, and various text, poetry, drama, and prose. But what I want to point out here, one of the little treasures, is under text, video, and audio. Poets on Screen includes 879 video clips of poets reading their own works or other works. It's organized by author or the reader or by poem title. The geography of poets is all wrong, Ed. The reference actually to Ed Field, who published an anthology called The Geography of Poets in the 70s. The geography of poets is all wrong, Ed. What poets now live where they say they do, where they started out, where they want to. Half the Midwesterners did time in New York, the other half in California. Only New Yorkers write as if they are from New York. <laughs> so as you notice that he gave information where this poem came from and then read his poem. A valuable piece if folks are trying to understand a poem or a poet to hear it in their own words or in the case where poets are reading other poets work then you can hear that tone hear that emotion and get a better feel for that piece of work the other piece here that I wanted to point out that I think is a great little tidbit and that Shakespeare audio plays 
This is the dramatized audio version of all 38 plays. A medal in all tradesmen's matters, nor women's matters. But with all I am indeed, sir, a surgeon to old shoes. When they are in great danger, I recover them. <laughs> so it's... As you can hear, fully dramatized music, sound effects, and the words of Shakespeare. And next, movies. You're going to find movies under Mango. Mango pre Premiere now includes the capability to learn a new language through foreign film. So education with entertainment. I'm going to just go in as a guest. And notice here's the courses listed, 72 languages now. And the far right tab is all movies. You can see what language those movies are in. So Latin American, Spanish, German. Let me scroll down. Italian, Japanese, French. So quite a variety here to help you learn a language and practice that language you're learning. But let's pick one. I'm going to select down here the Wild Chronicles. I can select movie mode where I can just sit back, enjoy the movie, and watch it with subtitles. Or I can do engage mode where I can get into the movie, learn from the dialogue, grammar, culture with some short lessons. I'm going to select movie mode and choose subtitles. And I want both. You'll see that you can have a little tutorial, a little tour, or just skip that tour and move right into the movie. Este es el planeta que habitamos. Notice that I kept both subtitles on, English and Spanish. And notice it's color-coded, so the parts of speech those words are lined up. You may be curious about, okay, that was a documentary, but what about actual movies? Mango also has some specialty courses. So let's jump. We talked about movies. Let's look at wine and cheese. This wine and cheese French tutorial lesson, we can do different lessons. This one, we can order wines and cheeses, things like that. It's going to give us grammar and conversational goals. And here's what we'll be learning. Ça te dit si on prend un verre de vin, une planche de fromage? Oui, je suis partante. Alors, qui dit fromage, dit rouge, non? Oui, mais moi, j'aime bien les vins qui ont de la cuisse. So we can get very specific about our language in Mango by watching a movie and learning specialty courses such as cheese and wine. And what a perfect combination, especially if you've got a food club, book club, movie club, what a great addition. And since we were just talking about wine and cheese and book clubs, 
The last one I want to show you here is culture grams. And I know we've all looked at culture grams to get our country and state reports, but let's peek at a couple of other items here. If you go into Kids Edition, for example, um, just to show you and remind you what it, what it all looks like, I can pick a country. So I'm in the Kids Edition, and they have their Did You Knows. What's great in the kids is they have a Can You Say It? But what I want to point out today is that since we were looking at mangoes, wine, and cheese, let's look at recipes. So here's the recipes for New Zealand. But you don't have to go into a specific country. When you're in Culture Grams, pick one of these versions. So let's just pick World Edition. Notice at the top, there's a link to recipes. Now it will bring up all the countries alphabetic. You can wander across here in the list or just keep scrolling down. I'm just going to pick Argentina. And there's the Hunger Killer. And it involves steak. There's beef. More steak and my favorite, a chimichurri sauce, and it includes some side dishes and desserts. So not only um, can you find recipes out there on Google Land, but here you can add these recipes from Culture Grams and provide that background information for your cooking clubs, your book clubs, uh, your food demonstrations, country reports. Notice also on this, there's a video link as well, so another place to find videos. And it just will give you another look at some other cultures. I'm going to go into the States Edition for my last audio piece. Those little peering into the corner treasures that you might not have known were there. And I'm going to go into state symbols. They've now created the audio file for all the state birds. For full tutorials on these resources, you can go into the archive and look at the tutorials, training tutorials, or go into our research guides. Enjoy conference!